Hey everyone, this is my Fall 2020 Home Tour, Take 2. It's just coming up the steps, going to my front door. Just thought everything looks pretty welcoming here. We have been enjoying some nice fall-like temperatures here in Virginia. But today, however, is a little, a little warm, but it goes back cool again starting tomorrow. And when Mama steps outside, everybody comes to the door. Hello, Gracie. Okay, now we're inside. This is my foyer. Say hello, Gracie. This is the foyer. Creaky floor. <laughs> Some things that I have put in the same place as before. Some things you know, I try to do a little different each year. This looks different down here than it has before. Um, Gracie, you're in my shot, dude. <laughs> oh my goodness. Do y'all have dogs? Gracie has such a very out loud personality. Gotta love our fur babies. This is our my corner hutch. I was real um, happy with how this came out this year. I did it very different from how I have done it in past years. Um, the pumpkin plate is new and so is that thankful plate right there that is new this year. And coming over here. I'm thinking I might take this leaf garland down. I was been kind of debating as to is it too much there? I don't know. But it's a beautiful garland. I just kind of hated to not use it this year. I did uh, a very different kind of a arrangement on my mantle this year. And usually right that is where I use it, near the, the mantle. And as I'm about to trip over the stool behind me, as I'm backing up. <clears throat> Still kept the buffalo check pillows. And I ordered this um, burnt orange or rust colored blanket off of Amazon. And this is how I did my coffee table. And here is my other fur baby, Angel. She's an old girl. And for some reason she likes to lay like that and use the fireplace hearth as her pillow. And I just think that just looks so hard on your on her, her little head, but she keeps on doing it, so I guess she's comfortable. This is how I did the mantle this year. I used this green cascading garland that I got from Hobby Lobby, and I just stuck a bunch of other picks and pumpkins and such in the mix. And I thought it came out uh, really, really pretty. For a really different look. And still the window above it. Oh, it looked really pretty all together. I spray painted this chair black. This chair is new for my mother. She gave it to me. She moved out of her apartment and got rid of it, so she gave it to me. Now it gets tricky where it's trying to trying to shoot into the window there. I guess the lighting gets tricky, but 
I really enjoy the um, battery operated candles. Really enjoy that look. I have a lot of them going on in the living room. I thought this came out really cute here, this little corner here. That striped pumpkin there came from um, Walmart this year. I like how this corner, <clears throat> this cozy little corner over here looks. This um, family sign was from Hobby Lobby. And my daughter graduated high school this year. <clears throat> And I love how the shelf above my TV came out this year. I saw that sign on a lot of people's um, fall tours and I was like, I think I'm the only one around that doesn't have that sign. So I had to go to Hobby Lobby and buy me one too. I think it's really cute. I like it. <clears throat> and down here, This crock just stuck some leaf picks. Do y'all have a lot of pumpkins? Fake pumpkins? Everybody teases me about how many pumpkins I have. As I was pulling out my fall decor, I have like nine totes that I got out of the attic. With all my fall decor in it and I um, kind of noticed and I was like man I have a lot of pumpkins so I put them all on my dining room table and I mean it filled the table and I took a picture of it and I um, posted it on Facebook and it said um, the struggle is real y'all <laughs> so now everybody teases me about my pumpkins but that's okay. Just kind of a quick pan around the room here about a trip over Gracie. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to head into the dining room. And that is how, this is how it looks from the foyer hallway. I like the black and white check with the black accents and the white furniture. This is how I did my tablescape this year. I got in this round metal, I don't know what you call it, tray thing, I guess, I don't know, and put these things in it. I thought it came out really pretty. It looks really pretty at nighttime when the candle is all aglow in that candle cup. And the hutch area over there, the wall looks really pretty. I want to get a chandelier where the lights point up towards the ceiling to hopefully that the light will kind of bounce off the ceiling rather than like a interrogation beaming down on somebody's head while they're at the table. That will come later. Okay. Had to let Gracie out. Okay. So this is this really cute little, I don't know what you want to call it, this bookshelf thing here that my dad had made years ago. Now to this side. I really like how the hutch turned out this year. Last year I painted it white. It was that dark 
uh, a dark wood stain but I painted it white and now everything that you put in it just really really shows up and I like that I've really enjoyed decorating it This here is a jar of apple butter that, that my family made last year. Here coming up in um, a couple weeks is our next uh, time of making, getting together and making the apple butter again. It's a really fun family tradition. This is like a leaf garland right there. I just kind of like laid it there on top of it to look like the leaves are just like falling out of the trees and Kind of piling up there on it over here is some um, the shelves of my built-in And this is another tricky area to try to film here right in front of this window. But this is like this um, kind of buffet area of the built-ins. I guess you'd call it a buffet area. Did this differently right here. Made this cloche filled with pumpkins, the little pumpkins. It's my niece and my nephew. Okay, over here on the counter in the kitchen. Gonna move things around a little bit over here. My two tiered tray. But be thankful. <clears throat> That um, truck sign there is a uh, printable. It has a free print. These baskets stay up on top of my fridge for storage. This corner back here is always kind of dark, hard to film. This little turkey here says, give thanks. It's got this, uh, utensil jar at um, Kirkland's earlier this year. I just bought this uh, chicken wire basket today at Michael's. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but uh, I'll find a place. <laughs> I'll figure out something to do with it. And those are these things on the ends of my cabinet, these little shelves here. These are always really fun to decorate. That um, buffalo check plate there is new this year to me. I bought it off of somebody on Marketplace. 
Facebook Marketplace. We all buy a lot of stuff off of there. I like how this farmer's market thing came out too. With the pumpkins and the veggies and the corn. And that's about it. Um, thus far. So, I hope that everybody has a wonderful fall season as it gets in. I'm looking so forward to the leaves turning color and um, just getting out and going to, going to the pumpkin patch and um, just hanging out and uh, doing fun things together with family this fall season. So, everybody, be blessed, be safe, and happy fall, y'all.